Hi everyone, in this example we have a function given and we want to determine the first and the second derivatives. So the first thing you want to analyze about the function is if it is in a good form right now in order for us to compute the derivative. And it's important to notice that there are three individual terms here. Uh, the first term and then we have, we're subtracting a second term and then adding a third term, which is great because we can take the sum and the difference of individual terms separately. However, that last term probably should be rewritten as a power function to make the derivative computation a bit easier. So the fifth root of x squared will be rewritten as x to the two fifths power. And I did that because we want to be able to use the power rule, which applies to x raised to a power of n, and the derivative of x to the nth power will be n times x raised to the n minus 1 power. So now let's go ahead and compute the derivative of each individual term. So f prime of x, our first term, which is e to the x, the derivative of e to the x is simply e to the x. My second term has a coefficient, so we are going to keep that coefficient because that's a constant multiple. And then we, are, we will just multiply that coefficient by the derivative of x to the third power. So the derivative of x to the third power using the power rule, the exponent, which is the 3, comes in front, and then you subtract 1 from the exponent. So that will be 3x squared. Then our last term, x to the 2 fifths power, we will use the power rule on that term as well. The exponent comes in front, which is 2 fifths, and then we have to subtract 1. Just be careful with your fractions. Remember, 2 fifths minus 1 is really 2 fifths minus 5 fifths, which will leave us with negative 3 fifths for the exponent. Now let's simplify, and we'll have our simplified form of our first derivative. e to the x minus 6x to the second power plus 2 fifths x to the negative 3 fifths power. So here's our first derivative, and then we will use our first derivative to find our second derivative. So we're just taking the derivative of this first derivative. It's still in a good form because we see it has three terms, and we'll just compute the derivative of each term individually again. So our first term is e to the x. The derivative of e to the x is simply e to the x. Our second term has the coefficient of negative 6, which is a constant multiple. So again, we're just going to multiply that by the derivative of x squared, and the derivative of x squared will be 2x. Remember, we're subtracting 1 from the exponent, so that's why it's really 2x to the first power, but we don't need to write that exponent. And then we have our coefficient of 2 fifths, and we will multiply that by the derivative of x to the negative 3 fifths power. So again, that negative 3 fifths comes in front as the coefficient, and now we need to carefully subtract 1 again from the exponent. So negative 3 fifths minus 1 is negative 3 fifths minus 5 fifths, and that leaves us with a negative 8 fifths for the exponent. And we'll simplify and wrap it up. So our second derivative will be e to the x minus 12x minus 6 over 25 x raised to the negative 8 fifths power.